it's funny how quickly things changed as we were all sitting around Saturday afternoon uh, reflecting on the great win of our hometown team, anticipating what was going to happen with our Saints and the world changed in a matter of minutes. And all of you uh, reflect on what I'm talking about, the event in Arizona, that uh, it's hard to uh, do much today without reflecting on how quick we went from a moment of quiet and peace in some ways here in America to one uh, faced with turmoil and uh, terror by the hands of uh, one person. So in that way, may we just take a moment in passing here to reflect on those who lost their lives, those that are fighting for their lives, and uh, to reflect on what it really means to live in a democracy that uh, allow everybody a voice and the freedom of speech without uh, retribution from those who would do harm by what we think. It's a sad day when our thoughts become our words, and it's an even sadder day when our words become our actions. And uh, in this case, uh, we all hold in high esteem those uh, who are caring for those who were injured and those who are mourning those who lost their lives. So uh, that being said, uh, my purpose here today is representing the Bicentennial Committee, a great group of volunteers. I often said the last time I volunteered for something, it cost me 37 years, three months, and three days <laughs> in the United States Army. But in the uh, spirit of uh, what this bicentennial is designed to do, on this day, ladies and gentlemen, 10 January, the first steamboat to navigate the Mississippi River, the New Orleans, arrived in New Orleans from Pittsburgh on January 10, 1812, this day in history in Louisiana. This moment uh, in history forever changed the course of the territory soon to be known as the state of Louisiana. And that happened 200 years ago today. We hope in the coming months and year to bring more of these facts to mind to the people of Louisiana and to the people of this country, of the significance of this 200th year anniversary of the great state of Louisiana. We will celebrate our statehood as proclaimed on April 30th, uh, 2012. And from this day forward, uh, those of you in the media can have uh, a year in history on this date type of accolades to those who have made this state what it is today. As we now, as of today, have 476 days to prepare for this great event. 476 days. 476 days of being innovative, 476 days of reinventing ourselves, 476 days of educating the young people in Louisiana, that they have a very rich culture that's been paid for and earned our freedom through years of sacrifice and generations of those who have preceded us. This. Uh, the Louisiana legislator passed the Bill 558, uh, submitted by Senator Mike Walsworth, a member of our committee, that created this Bicentennial Commission Committee. He also created, as a result of this bill, the official license plate, ladies and gentlemen, which you see a copy, a replica here, which is now available at uh, our DMV offices. The commission consists of 12 uh, uh, members appointed by the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the president and the speaker of the house were those who appointed the members of this board. The goal, uh, our initial goal, is to raise money uh, to uh, support our event. And our intent is to raise some $3 million uh, from private uh, institutions and uh, uh, our friends from around the state, from both uh, uh, private citizens and from uh, businesses to uh, make this a successful event. We have the so full support of Lieutenant Governor Jay Dardine, 
who has uh, committed himself to support all activities and to help in promoting this uh, event from every part of the state of Louisiana. Now, it's one thing we know in Louisiana how to do, and that is to throw a party. Matter of fact, people come from around the world to watch us and participate in our annual Mardi Gras and other festivals we have around the state. So this shouldn't be a hard thing to do. And it appeared that regardless of what part of the state you come from or what's your background, people show up at the party and have a good time. That being said, we hope that in 2012, we will be able to use that as a part of our branding to help bring our friends and relatives who over time have left Louisiana and bring them back home in 2012 as a part of a way to bring our relatives back and at the same time educate them on the rich history for which they left, with, show them how well we are doing in Louisiana now, and hopefully bring some of them back home permanently. Our strategy consists, uh, starts with a purpose. And our purpose uh, of the bicentennial which is, is this celebration of 200 years uh, of Louisiana achieving its statehood uh, from the uh, government of the United States. Our goal is on uh, starting on 30 April 2012 to be a time of celebration in the state. It's a Monday. Uh, we have some, we have talked about and we will go from the planning phase to the preparedness phase to the execution phase, but we are thinking big. We are thinking uh, big from the perspective of uh, having events in every parish in the state in every town and village that uh, during that period of celebration that we will be able to get people to come back home, uh, learn their history, and celebrate the great the culture of Louisiana, as well as to look at opportunities for the future. To educate our people about the rich, diverse history of our state, to highlight the importance of Louisiana its people, its natural resources, and culture in our contributions to America and to the world. Uh, this uh, celebration is also an opportunity, as I said earlier, to bring our relatives and friends back home uh, in big family reunions. In, in a theme uh, we will start off by calling and bring them back home campaign in 2020. Uh, our objectives is to be accurate and transparent in all that we do, to be inclusive of all our people and culture, to be uh, uh, in the fundraising mode, to raise the funds and get the resources and get the help and the will of the people to make this happen in our towns and communities, and to create enthusiasm in every city and parish throughout the state over that period from 1 September 2011, which when our celebrations will start, through December 31st, 2012. We've uh, in, been inclusive of that time so we could have almost a full year that includes the beginning of the school year as well as going into uh, hopefully the next time the Saints will be in the run for the Super Bowl. <laughs> to use the celebration to help enhance uh, a better understanding of our Louisiana history for our children in, in all of our Louisiana schools. Uh, to embrace the support of all Louisiana government departments and integrate the bicentennial in all that they do. For example, already we've had great support from the Department of Agriculture uh, as a lead, and we hope to get the support from all the departments of transportation, education, and so on, library systems, in making this uh, a great celebration. To encourage our local and national media to be part of this public campaign. Now, <clears throat> it would be holding the media to make friends with the press because we have a good relationship. Uh, but this cannot happen without the things that you do in your space and what you do to make this democracy work. This will not work if members of the press don't embrace this and look for stories and help generate stories of interest to tell people in Louisiana, did you know? Because you have the unique skill of communicating that, you've got the platform to do it, and this campaign will not 
uh, be successful if, without your help in helping to get the word out and helping to be creative. Even in the tag, how we tag this and how we market this in Louisiana and across the country and around the world. <clears throat> this, will, this can and will be a big thing, just as the Mississippi River is to Louisiana. And make it show our children understand the significance of that river in the history of our nation, in the history of our state, and why we even have a state as it's related to the great Mississippi River and the mouth of the Mississippi River. That alone is almost a thesis in understanding, uh, in doctorate level work, to understand the complexities of what that river meant and means to this nation and to the world. And we will continue to work with and through the media and through our website to work out branding. And any ideas you have, all of you know Julie, uh, who works uh, in the Lieutenant Governor's office, uh, pass us your ideas on how we might be able to create this as a campaign, uh, even among uh, our junior high and high school students to help us brand this, our 200-year bicentennial. We hope to optimize that social media. We hope to be uh, repetitive in every uh, medium. We hope to visit the towns and parishes uh, for example, we have gotten some great support from the Louisiana Steam Train Association, one of many associations we hope to tap into. Uh, they have, will provide us the last steam train that was built in the state of Louisiana. The spirit of Louisiana, if you hadn't seen it, it will go from town to town uh, throughout the state uh, as a part of uh, local parish and city uh, events. Uh, I've seen uh, pictures of it and uh, we look forward to it with full support from them. And uh, this is being provided uh, by this association at, at no charge to the Bicentennial, and it's gonna be a great event, uh, bringing back a piece of history and taking it throughout the towns and parishes throughout Louisiana. Um, we'll be working hard with other associations and trade organizations uh, right here in Baton Rouge in the next couple of weeks uh, we'll have the, uh, Baton Rouge will host the uh, Convention of Tourism uh, Convention right here in Baton Rouge. We hope to uh, converse with them so we can deconflict dates and work uh, on our website to uh, publish dates so people will know what's going on in Mamu and what's going on in Karen Crow and what's going on in New Roads and Point Capi and St. Gabriel so we uh, don't compete for the same resources and deconflict our calendars. Well, folks, that is the basic lineup. I know this is, uh, with all the things we face in America today, such as the news that started off with what's happening in Arizona, the great challenges we have, uh, this is an opportunity for us to look for something to find neutral ground on the place we live, a place where we raise our children, and where we look to the future to make this a better place. It's to study our past, take stock of our present, to take Louisiana to make it a better place to live and a better place to uh, get people to come and to do business and, and of all to come and have a good time and understand our culture and understand what we do for this nation. And one only need to be reminded what happened shortly after Katrina when uh, the ports of Louisiana were closed, the Gulf of Mexico was shut down for business, and people, the rest of the country and the world start to see what importance the state of Louisiana have to the rest of this country. So that being said, I'd like to uh, take some questions and I've got my backup team over here to help me. And uh, as I said earlier, this is a copy of the license plate. It is available at the uh, DMV now. If you have uh, any trouble, may, please let us know and we will start it out. Today we're sharing with the press and the people uh, of Louisiana, uh, our initial plan and strategy for celebrating the 200th year bicentennial of uh, the state of Louisiana becoming a state in the United States of America. Uh, we are doing this as an information briefing, as well as a solicitation to the press and the people of Louisiana to contribute to this great event, which is gonna happen on 30 April, will be our big event, uh, uh, 2012 which is the actual 200th year 
anniversary of us becoming a state. How much money are you trying to raise, and uh, what's the uh, mix between uh, private dollars and public dollars? We think we need to raise about $4 million. Uh, we're going to try to raise most of that with uh, public dollars. Uh, there's some talk of uh, some people in the government wanting to go to the legislation, some part of that. But look, we've got over 4.2 million people in Louisiana. Uh, if we got a dollar piece from everyone, we will have more budget than we need. So our objective is to ask those who can uh, to give a dollar, give two dollars, give 50 cents, and uh, let's get this thing on. This is something we can do in Louisiana. What are some of the events that you envision? Oh, we envision on uh, 30 uh, uh, April 2012 to have a big celebration in our major cities. We hope to bring in the support from the Department of Defense, such as an aircraft carrier in our Golden Knights and a flyover over many of our uh, uh, cities here in Louisiana. We will send out the uh, Louisiana Spirit, the great uh, old steamship, uh, the last one built in Algiers uh, here in Louisiana. It will go around the state. We hope that our legislator and our local uh, parish presidents, police jurors, as well as our school system, will set events between uh, now and 2012 that will give opportunity for our school children and our communities to celebrate this. We're going to ask people throughout the state of Louisiana to invite your friends and families back. Let's bring them back home in 2012. You know, that can have a significant impact uh, economically to our small towns uh, for friends and relatives to come back. You know, you bring a couple thousand people back to New Roads, that's a big economic impact if they all came back for a family reunion. So this, in a way, can pay for itself in more ways than one if we do it right, if we uh, get uh, business, education, and government uh, engaged on the same level, on the same page. With the help of the media, we may have a successful event. And you have a bicentennial license plate set up here. What are the plans for that? The, those are available right now. You just go down to the uh, drive DMV, and uh, they'll issue a bicentennial license plate. It has uh, Brown Pelican. It has the state of Louisiana with uh, 200 years uh, noted at the bottom. So it's a very distinctive plate. We're very proud of that plate. If people have questions or would like more information, what should they do? They should, uh, as far as the license plate, they can go to DMV. As far as the bicentennial, they can go to our w website, www.bicentennial.la, and uh, be able to uh, look up events that's about to occur or they can call the Lieutenant Governor's Office for more direct answers.